any questions. What concerns you about Ball State's offense? You know, they're extremely efficient in what they do. Um, you know, Coach New and his staff, especially offensively, you know, with his background, uh, you know, being from New Orleans, uh, they do a really good job of marrying plays, both run and pass, play pass, you know, getting the ball out of the quarterback's hands, you know, making it uh, QB friendly in that regard. Uh, those two tight ends are, are really talented. Obviously, the running back is, you know, arguably the best running back in the MAC and uh, runs hard, low to the ground. You know, we've got to really do a good job tackling. Uh, you know, he's got big, thick legs. He can run through blocks. Uh, you know, quarterbacks obviously played a lot of football, uh, thrown for over 10,000 yards. Uh, they've, got a, they've got a lot going for them, and uh, it's going to be a really, really big challenge. And, and we know condensed sets, motions, you know, shifts, all those kind of things, it, it stresses you. And uh, to get all that in game one, that's a lot. What is uh, Octavius Ox and I have been showing you this week leading up on that other side of the field? Yeah, you know, he's, I mean, just kind of like all our guys, you know, they're, they're working hard. They're, they're, they're trying to prep the best they can, get ready. Uh, you know, I think he's, he's had a solid fall camp, you know. Um, there are some things that, you know, like all our guys, I think he can do better, and, you know, he knows that. Uh, so I'm, I'm curious to see how he plays on Saturday. Right, you talked about Coach Lee's background and so forth. What about your secondary? What do you, what do you want to see from them on Saturday? Uh, I want to see communication. I want to see uh, confidence. You know, that's that's the big thing back there is, you know, we talked about, you know, sort of through camp that, uh, you know, I'm excited to see this group because I think they, they play with sort of a confidence and have a swagger about them and a little chip. But... Hey, listen, that's one thing to be on the practice field, and it's another thing on Saturdays. And I want to see guys that, you know, not just make plays, but I want to see guys that bounce back after a play doesn't go his way. And and that's what I'm looking for. What's it been like from you guys knowing this isn't a scrimmage coming up on Saturday? I think they're dialed in. Uh, but, hey, listen, it, it's up to this point, it's all talk. It's all sort of speculation. You're, you're, it's hopes and now it's the real thing. Now you got to go out in there. You got to do it. And you know, a big challenge for our guys. We haven't uh, necessarily started the fastest, you know, in, in home openers, and, and that's a big challenge for our guys to come out. Don't. Uh, I, I think it's not that they're flat. I think they come out sometimes maybe over excited and amped, and you're ready for that first game, and you've got to know how to, you know, be controlled and control your emotions and. And just let the let the game come to you. Um, again, there's gonna, they're going to make plays. They are a good offensive football team that's going to make plays, both run and pass. I want to see our guys respond, settle in, uh, you know, and, and punch back. JJ said he had to kind of get on them about being a little bit too loose at times today. Having are they having too much fun over there? Uh, Fun? Yeah, I, mean, I guess they were having fun. I hope they're having fun. I mean, whether you're having a good day or a bad day, you're out on the grass. You should you should enjoy it. Um, I think that the looseness, you know, it, there's a there's a fine line. Like you don't want them tense. And again, you want them to be confident, but you don't want them to be cocky. Um, and you know, I, th I really think our uh, our car team has been given a really good look, uh, and they've stressed us at times in practice this week. Uh, and that's what we need because we need to understand that when we don't execute, big plays can happen. You mentioned the two tight ends they, they have. They have one who was a freshman All-American last year. How much does it help your group that you know every day they're facing some really talented guys in practice? Yeah, I mean, I think that helps a lot. Uh, I think it helps that, uh, you know, we face similar sets, you know, uh, in various situations. So uh, all those things help. Um, again, I think we have a very talented crew. So that, that again, that stresses us. And, um, but they, they're they're big and they're tall and they're athletic and they're willing blockers. They make plays down the field, uh, you know. And you know those teams like you, know, you think about Iowa, uh, you know, obviously our team. You know, so we've been able to face some of those. So at least we have some experience in it. How tough is it to prepare when the 
interpret the transfer portal and how they have guys that are, you mentioned the running back, the right guards from Sacred Heart. Like, how hard is it? Because you haven't seen them in that system yet. Yeah, I mean, you have to go back and you got to watch tape from their, their other places. Uh, you know, they've got a, a young quarterback, you know, sort of waiting in the wings. Uh, and you go back and you watch his high school film, and he was a heck of a player there at Mission Viejo, which is one of the top programs out there in California, a multi year starter. So you know that he's got just. Not only is he just a nice natural passer, you know, and I think Coach New would mention that, but is the fact that um, he uh, he's got a little bit of that sort of Johnny football to him. Like he can he can make a, a something out of nothing, a broken play. He's he's good with his legs, you know, and so you can feel it. You can feel his teammates even through the film, like sort of rally around him. Um, but yeah, for, you know, you think about the running back, you have to go watch Kent State, right? The wide receivers, you have to watch at Colorado and Jacksonville State. So it just requires you to go to a lot of different places. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to go back to the heart uh, and, and you know uh, you know what kind of system Ball State's going to run. And uh, they're going to be really sound, fundamental. They're going to be physical and uh, you know, a really big challenge for us. You were asking Liam yesterday, after he was away from it for a year, working in college for a year, was about his nerves going into the first game. He obviously been around for a while, but do you get nervous going, especially into that first game of the season? I, I get nervous into every game. Because <laughs> <laughs> every game's different. Like, every game's new, and it's, it's just whatever happened the week before. And so, obviously, the, the first game, you know, there might be extra you know, just because you're not exactly sure what team you have. You think you you know, but you don't know until you play ball. And you don't know until uh, you know what maybe what kind of top end you have, but you don't know how low it could go. And hopefully uh, the goal is not to have a low floor. It's to have a high floor and a high ceiling. Brad, how how do you prepare your guys for the unexpected? I mean, you've been preparing for one thing for a month, but it never goes that way. Like, you lost Jalen in game two last year. Yeah. And you know, just, how do you get guys wrapped around their head that what we thought for a month may not be what happened? You know what? I, I think that's more of a, a, a coaching staff. Like, you have to always sort of have plan B, plan C. Like, how are we going to adjust if this happens or this happens? I don't think you put that in the players' heads. Like, you just – for the players, you just tell them, hey, let's just focus on what we can do. And we understand no matter what game, if it's the first game, it's the last game, um, if it's home, if it's away, like, you, you're you going to have ups and downs in the game. Don't look at the scoreboard. You know, it sounds really cliche, right? But just play. Just play. And then if something doesn't go right, come to the sideline. Let's get it fixed. No finger-pointing stay together and then let's go back out and do it again and just hit that on repeat and repeat and repeat and then before you know that game's done and then you have to come you got to prep for the next one and you got to do it again <laughs> but how did you guys do last year statistically against the long runs with the rugby safeties and are you confident that you can even be better at that this year yeah, trying to wrap exactly what you want from that question <laughs> <laughs> um did you give up From the safeties, the like like whether they miss tackles, you're saying, or yeah. whether they, could, yeah. uh, no, I mean I, some of the, the long runs we gave up were were more structural issues. The one that you can think like I can think of is Tennessee. We had uh, two where the running backs made some really good plays, like the, the one on Ty. He basically rolled over his back, um, but none where it was just blatant miss tackles you know, by a safety coming down. Um, where they showed up more, honestly, is more at the corner position. You know, people are going to force corners to make tackles. And that's, you know, part of what I want to see too is I want to see those that from that secondary, I want to see those corners tackle because that's what this offense is going to do. Uh, you get into two tight ends, they're going to get balls poured out to corners and they're going to have to come up and they're going to have to tackle this back. Okay. Folks, thanks. Oh, we have one more. Okay, yeah, last one. Yeah. So considering you're going up going up against one of the more solid offensive lines in the MAC, especially uh, supporting a guy like uh, Cooper in the backfield, uh, what are you really looking for from a defensive line in week one, knowing there's not really much time for growing pains because, I mean, it's game time, but it's time to get ready. Yeah, it's a big challenge. Those guys, you know, we're, we're expecting a lot. We're demanding a lot. Um, 
and and now it's time to not talk about it anymore now it's time to go do it and what am i expecting demanding what do i need out of them i need them to play big and i need them to play physical and strong and they need to play with their hands you know in some instances they got a two gap you know and and help it so the ball doesn't just keep rolling the corners if the ball's up inside it needs to stay inside that'll help some of those long runs folks thanks <laughs>